Hello, welcome. In today's video, we will make the Tower of Light, designed by Tonkin Liu. Location Manchester, United Kingdom. We start by creating polygon base. Add parameters to control segment and size of the polygon. Use construct point component and connect range of numbers and Z value. This will create a set of point that have different Z location. You can control the spacing and how many points to generate. Connect these points into the plane. This will create an XY plane at each point and in this plane, the polygon will be placed. Next we are going to create a line start from each corners of polygon and the center of them. To get each vertices and edge use explode component. Start and end of vertices are counted as different vertices so we get one duplicate point in each branch. Use call duplicates component to remove them. Next create line between each center point and these vertices. Graph the points to match data structure. This means center point match to each vertices of one polygon. Next, by using extend curve with a negative starting location, we can decrease their length of them. Combine these lines with the segments of polygon by using weave component. Checking orders of lists. As you see here the orders of list not one directional, it's one step forward and backward. By default the pattern is set to false true so change to true false will fix this. Next, evaluate the curve at different parameters. We can control the point location on each line by changing parameters. The next goal is to create wavy curve on each branch. This can be done by finding points on each curve respective to curve domain. If we set increasing and decreasing values like sine wave, the points also follow the same order. So next step is to create sine wave. One complete sine wave cycle is 2 pi. So 2 times pi times x will gives how many cycle we want. Connect this value to domain of range component. From the range we can get a range of numbers between 0 pi to 24 pi. When we connect these value to sine component we can get 12 cycles sine wave. To visualize these values we can connect to quick graph component. If you count these cycles you get exactly 12 cycles because we already set to 12 cycle. You can change to whatever you want. Next, multiply the number of cycles and connect it to the end value of both range components. This will help ladder to set how many division in each cycle. The 
range of sine wave is between minus 1 to 1. We need to move these values to be between 0 to 1. This will help us to evaluate the curve. So we use remap numbers to do this. Expiration 1 minus x helps to control both upper and lower domain. In other work we create equal gaps at the beginning and ending. Checking data structure. As we see the output of the wave component has 61 branches and 24 items in each, but the remap numbers... By using the flip matrix component we can flip into 21 branches and 61 items. This means each 61 items of remap numbers match perfectly to each branch of the wave component. By using interpolate curve we can create a curve on each branch. Now we need to convert the wave direction between two consecutive branches. So first we separate by using dispatch with a pattern of 0011. After that flip the curve in one output and combine back with wave component with the same pattern as dispatch. Checking the direction after combination. As we see here the direction is one step forward and backward. So by inverting the pattern we can fix this. Use not date to invert the pattern. Next shift the wave with a one quarter cycle by adding half to each value we get from the range component. You can also do by replace the sine component with a cosine component. Next is to create loft between each consecutive curves. Mesh loft can't work on interpolate so change it by polyline component. Next, make each two consecutive curves in one branch. To do that shift the list with index 1 and merge it with the original. Graft both of them so we get two items in each branch. Now create mesh loft between each branch. Join mesh from weaver birds. We leave the wielding to false. This will help ladder to create sub decrease at joining location. To smooth this we can create sub D out of this mesh. 
we can create crease at joining location by setting crease to mesh edge. Next, remove the wave structure at the beginning. This can be done by replacing the value we get from remap number with constant values. Thank you for watching. Part 2 of this tutorial will be making the patterns. You can watch it here or link in the description.